everybody. Welcome. Just in time for our next 10 videos. Come on in. Let's go. Hello everybody, Larry the Pen Bug Guy, right here, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pens. Cool? Dig it. Alright, today is another Noodler's Pen Day. <clears throat> Previous day, I did the Ahab. Just a quick review. Today, a quick re review update of the Noodler's Conrad Nantucket Chimney of Fire. It's an acrylic fountain pen. And here is this beautiful pen. I'm going to tell you what I love about this pen and something I'm disappointed in the pen, but still that doesn't keep me from using this pen. Uh, a little bit about the pen and then I'll match up some other pens to give you an idea on the size of this pen. And then I'll show you some colors of ink that uh, are close to what I'm using. I'm using the Noodler's Re uh, Revolution Blue. So let's get on with the pen, okay? Okay, first of all, a look at the designs of this pen. It's got that red and black swirls going all through the pen. On the barrel to the end all the way up the cap to the finial on top it even has the swirls going all, all over the place i mean it's just a good looking pattern layout my opinion and on the fountain pen clip it has inscribed in the clip noodlers ink and the little band goes around the top of the bear up to give me top of the cap so at the bottom of the cap there's another band right here and that says noodlers ink as well and uh that's going to cover that so the hardware looks good with the red black uh swirls that are uh, on the pen with a background of, of the white. Great uh, color scheme. I like it. As you go down the barrel, right here, it narrows off. And this is the blind cap. And you can just take that right off. And this is what I'll tell you later. That what I didn't like about this pen. But I still use it. This pen cost around 40, 45 bucks, somewhere in there. I bought it a few years ago, so a lot of money for a pen. Uh, unscrew cap, cool, I'm digging it. Can you feel it? Love it. Go down the barrel, there's your window. That's what I like about these Noodler's pens. They have windows to let you know how much ink you got left in your pen. So I'm pleased about that. Uh, you go down the barrel, and there's nothing sharp to uh, get your fingers uncomfortable. And uh, the grip is a good proportion size for small to extra large sausage style fingers. And look at that beautiful big old steel nib. Yep. Okay. Let's get back to the pit. The, uh, the barrel and the cap. They all accent the colors together to make it all match up. It's all uniform. It looks really great. I love the color scheme on it. Okay, now what I'd like to do is uh, show you some of the colors of ink that I've kind of matched up to the ink I'm using. I'm using the Noodler's Revolution Blue. It's a nice blue. I like the color. And then here's the Noodler's Liberty Elysium. It's a little bit darker, but somewhere in that range. And up here is where you see where I've done it with a medium nib. 
And this is with a, a Q-T swab that I'd use it to uh, put it on there. So you see the difference. And uh, I like to do this because I, it, it'll actually show <clears throat> me and the viewers how a nib would react with ink, <coughs> excuse me, with ink to the paper. So, and then here is uh, some uh, Diamine Presidential Blue. It's a little bit darker. And then here is one of my favorite all-time noodlers, Bay State Blue. Love the ink. Um, here's the nib on it with a medium nib. I, I love this vibrant, rich color of Bay State Blue. And then here's one I did a swab with a QT right there. And that's what that looks like. So that's that. Alrighty, moving along before I do the writing sample. Uh, I'll do the kind of a pin matchup here. So, okay, there's the Noodler's Conrad. Here is the Noodler's Ahab. Uh, the, the Ahab is just a bit shorter than the Conrad. And I'm thinking the Ahab here looks has a, a little more girth girthiness to it than the Conrad. Then here is the Jinhao 450 and the Noodler's Conrad is, they're about the same length and they're almost the same kind of girthiness to the pins making the Jinhao 450 just a little bit more girthier than the Conrad but not much. Then here's the Mr. Italic pin. Beautiful, beautiful pin. And they are both the same size. Um, and uh, maybe just a tad more girth on the Conrad. And last but not least, one of my all-time favorite lovely pins that they don't make anymore. The Monteverde Regretta. Uh, the uh, Azure fountain pen with a medium nib they are the same length and I would say the Monteverde has a, a bit more girth than the Conrad so there you have that alrighty folks let me put this aside and we're going to do some writing so this is what we wait for how well does this pen write because uh, I'm like you I got to see how this pen writes. Now this is uh, paper is Rhodia dot paper. Uh, that's what I use for my reviews, but I may change out. But I just want to show you I'm using the Noodler's Ahab on this side of the paper real quick, and uh, the uh, the ink I was using was the Noodler's American what uh, aristocracy. Yeah, I believe that's the ink and it the uh, there was some bleed through and show through right here well uh, laid it down pretty heavy so you know even quality paper can have some breakthroughs now and then but that doesn't mean the paper's not any good so here we go with the noodlers conrad beautiful fountain pen okay here we go Noodler's day today. Just a lovely nib on this pen. It really writes well. I really like it. Okay, the uh, the nib worked well. Uh, no flow issues. It kept up. It just kept flowing just nice and smooth. The nib did extremely well. I love the pen. I love the nib. I love everything about the pen. I'll do a few little S's here. And this is with pressure. Nice. 
this is without pressure. Isn't that a, just a nice nib? It just sails across the paper. Now, for some blind variation, this is without pressure. No pressure. This is with pressure. See there? Right here. It has some nice line variation down there. You can, you can see where that how the line gets wider with the pressure. So, now we'll just do this one. And this is with pressure. So we'll take it over here, and I've done it previously. So, to save, We'll just flip this little jewel over. And we'll just do some doodling with it. Now this pen is nice, wet, and juicy, so you right-handers, be careful. If you do like that over, you can, can do this, because the pen is wet, what I like. And this is rhodium paper, so... Oh, that's nice. That is so sweet. All right, folks. Well, that's going to wrap this up. And uh, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for your support. Uh, for those who can contribute to the uh, PayPal and uh, the uh, Patreon. Thank you, members of announcer. Uh, that really comes in helpful and handy uh, for me to buy some inks and papers and nibs and whatever to share with you guys. Uh, you're a blessing. Thank you for all your help. You guys have rocked. Uh, it, it, the reason why I'm here is because you. I'm talking right to you. Yes. Point to yourself, me. So, and thank you for everything you've done for letting me come into your homes, for taking your time and your busy day and spend it with me. Larry the Pin Bug Guy, leave your comments below. I do read them. And don't forget, if you don't mind, don't be bashful. How about a thumbs up? That really helps. And all you got to do is hit that little thumb right there and just hit it like like and it's going to give me a thumbs up so i'm going to have to go because i've got reviews of other cool stuff coming up so i've got to get busy here i'm smoking so god bless each and every one and remember don't text in drive later